What's going on, you beautiful people of the internet? Today's video is two short stories instead of one long one, so you know, you're welcome. Look at that. Two short stories. Isn't that crazy? Now, the first story. This one's a good one. We'll just call this story Chicken Pillow. So I was about, oh, I don't know. I was like six or seven, maybe. I don't know. I just know it was a long time ago. I was pretty young. I remember just, you know, chilling in my room, playing games all day, like I do now. I think I used to do it more back then, to be honest. Little Colin. Little study gaming, just sitting in his room, playing video games, minding his own business, not doing anything wrong. Out of nowhere, he hears a blood curdling just scream from across the hallway. The scream sounded like someone was being stabbed or something, okay? It was intense. And after that scream, my little sister just comes running in, freaking out. She's tearing up, she's just screaming. She's like, Come here, come here. I'm like, what? She's like, just run with me, run with me. We get into her room, and her pillow's kind of like ripped open a little bit on that corner, and some feathers are coming out, and she just starts crying. She goes, there's a chicken in my pillow. And she was convinced there was a chicken just living in her pillow. <laughs> so that's the end of that first short story. The second one's a bit longer, but it's still a short story. Where I used to live when I was younger, around the time of maybe 10 or 11-ish, behind her house was like this bank or hill and then you go past that you go even further back there's like a construction site and then you go even past that just a little bit more there's like this wood area and then if you just go a little bit just a little bit past that okay a little bit past it's an adventure for my house actually it wasn't even that far in this area there's like another hill this hill's a little bit different because it had like a sewer system hooked up to it i don't know how to explain it in certain sides of the hill there was like concrete walls built into it and then there was like these big circle sewer gates pretty much and they had latches that would close and open to like help with flooding i guess that's what i assumed it was for and i was with three other friends at the time so me and three other friends no big deal no big deal I was popular back in the day. And at the end of one of these like sewer areas, there was water in like a square area, like a big huge square concrete area. And there was algae and tadpoles and some frogs and stuff. And I don't know what happened. It went from us just picking up algae and then just like looking around for tadpoles to throwing it at each other. And we got the good idea to have two kids go to the top of like this hill with a bunch of algae and then had two kids down at the bottom with algae. And we just have a war with just algae. And we just throw it at each other, hit each other in the legs and the face. It was disgusting. It was, it was pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. I would probably do that again. I'm at the top hill with one of my friends and then my two friends are down there. We were having fun for like a good five, six minutes. We're just throwing algae at each other, just being weirdos. And for some reason, in my twisted mind, I thought it would be a good idea to to say something like this. I'm like, hold on, we, we need to stop, we need to stop, it's important. Everyone just stop throwing algae. And I look at my friend that's down in the water area. Listen, I'm not messing around with you right now. I dropped my toy off here into the water and I need you to pick it up. It's one of my favorite toys, it was in my pocket. I, I don't know why, I didn't have a toy with me. I don't even think I was playing it or with toys anymore when I was like 10 or 11. But he, he, you know, he's a good guy. We'll just call him, uh, we'll call him Quinn, okay? So my boy Quinn, you know, great friend, good guy. Don't really talk to him much anymore, but Quinn, he goes and looks for a toy that I supposedly dropped off the hill into the water. And I don't know how many of you guys remember my cousin's story that was in the leaves, but for some reason, my mindset when I was like 10 or 11, I thought it was okay to pee on kids. I pulled down my pants, I peed all over the top of his head. <laughs> Needless to say, Quentin was pretty upset with me. He was pretty mad. Then we went home and my mom asked us why we smelled like LG and pee, so pretty good story. So yeah, there's the chicken in my pillow story and I guess fighting with LG on a hill. And let me know what you guys think. You know, like, comment, subscribe if you're down. That's pretty much it. Peace out. Just want to drink. There's so much on my mind that I don't even want to think. I said I just want to smoke. I just want to drink. There's so much on my mind.